Well, I gotta try canoeing. It's fun. Yeah. <laughs> Just make sure the water's calm that day. All right. Yes, yeah, so and I have there. a life jacket. Yeah, that would be but a good you idea. You know what? I've, I've noticed that we are expecting some rain, but change is trying to come in. Well, where? Because uh, <laughs> when I look at this forecast, Michael Fish, I do not get too excited. No, and uh, it's going to be a little bit unsettled as we head through this whole upcoming week. This is called the cutoff low pressure that's going to head our way and just kind of slowly meander its way on through. The initial effects of it are being felt as you head towards the Janesville area, maybe even just clipping Walworth County, parts of Jefferson County. These kind of working their way pretty much to the due north northwest, oddly enough. So there's just a little bit of instability in the first ribbons of what's called vorticity out there that's creating a little bit of lift. Now, I want to show you our Port Washington tower cam because this blue sky, I didn't want to see any of this today because that means extra heating at the surface, which means extra lift. But Lake Michigan is also helping us. East wind at 26 miles per hour. That's windy. 44 degrees, at least in Port Washington. Now, this cutoff low pressure system means it's going to be cut off from the jet stream which means it's not going to be moving very much, which means then it's going to affect us this whole upcoming week. And Steve Davis over at the National Weather Service gave me this little phrase, a cutoff low, look out below, or a cutoff low, a weatherman's woe, because all of a sudden a shower just moves on in, then it moves out. They just kind of go hit or miss through the whole upcoming week. That's going to be the story as this low just kind of hangs out in our area. We have a jet to the north, one to the south. It's not connected to any of them, so it just slowly meanders its way on through and does what it wants when it wants. 58 degrees. That's what our average high should be. We did not make it to average today. We've had that strong wind off the lake. That's good because we didn't want the higher heat because that's more energy for the storms. We're seeing a severe weather outbreak through uh, parts of Iowa, Missouri right now, uh, down into Arkansas. I even saw a tornado warning before for part of uh, southeast Oklahoma. So it's very unstable where there's heat, but luckily we're not seeing too much of it. But it is a little bit warmer as you head well to the west, 52 Whitewater, 55 in Janesville. It's just enough heating, of course, where we're popping up a couple of these showers, maybe even a storm. So satellite radar, there's our main batch of rain. There's the low pressure slowly meandering its way on through. And here's Viper HD radar, severe storms to our south and to our west. But the thing is, it's going to run into the more stable air which also means that they're not going to stay severe as they head our way, but still watching a couple of these pop up showers or maybe a thunderstorm for our western counties. Now, as far as tomorrow, more showers rolling their way on through. Things get more active as the night goes on because this low gets a little bit closer and those storms from Iowa start to move our way. But again, they're not going to be severe once they get here the way it looks right now. And then this rain is going to be on and off as we head through the overnight going through tomorrow, tomorrow night. So showers become more numerous late, but still this evening you still might see a shower or storm for tomorrow. Occasional showers, windy and cool, more showers for tomorrow night. And then Tuesday, more of these scattered showers or a storm. It really is going to get annoying for you. Now, this isn't going to be a massive rainmaker, a big flooding a potential, but still I think we're going to start to rise the rivers as we go throughout the week. So don't expect just uh, constant rain. There will be breaks.